Grassroots has been about 25 years in the making. Um, I started in 1984 working for McKissick Museum at the University of South Carolina on a project that eventually uh, became known as Row Upon Row Seagrass Baskets of the South Carolina Low Country. Um, many years later, uh, I was collaborating with Enid Schulkraut, uh, who was then the director of African Ethnography at the American Museum of Natural History. And together we went to Senegal and cooked up the idea of doing a Baskets of Two Continents exhibit, comparing the two traditions, the two ends of the traditions. Um, in the meantime, I wrote my doctoral dissertation on this subject of the African origins of this tradition. So Grassroots was the answer to a very long uh, and, and uh, visionary idea that we had uh, back in the 90s of doing a, a show that would really bring together the African side of the story with what we know in South Carolina. Well, the, the title really tells the whole story. Grassroots tells you this is a story about plant materials and what people make from them. Uh, African Origins tells you where the tradition came from, the west coast of Africa, from Senegal down through the Upper Guinea coast into Angola and the Congo. And American art uh, is where this tradition is today. It's a great um, African-inspired American art using American materials and uh, appealing to an American audience. Um, the, the beauty of the Low Country Basket is it really contains the whole history of African settlement in the Carolinas and you could say really the entire country. Um, it begins in Africa, traces, goes through the 170 years of slavery into the post-war period and winds up with a very upbeat ending uh, where people take control of the means of production and also the means of distribution of their baskets and are able to really turn it to their own advantage and make it a, a, a great art form. I have to say that in the community, uh, besides being a way of earning a living, uh, baskets really represent family. People identify their mother's baskets with the feelings they had for their mother, for example. And so they're really very emotional objects. They're touchstones of memory. There are really two important uh, points here. One is that uh, the contribution of, of Africans to the society and the economy of the, the, the low country is inestimable. Not only did they bring the culture of rice, which made South Carolina rich and famous, but they brought the technology of processing the, bas the, the rice, which included this remarkable basket tradition. The other part of what we're trying to get across here is that this tradition has evolved into a, a real art form. People are using it to express themselves in a way that um, is really uh, incredibly um, inspiring from a craft that was purely agricultural, it is now a, a means of personal expression. And that's a very important and I would say universal message we can get across. <laughs>